Man, I swear I love this. This is like my favorite snack right here, man. Peanut butter, waffles, syrup. I can have this, man, a couple times a day. I'll be all right. The drop off Monday morning. Get up, get active. Let on, Ruben. Have a good day. What's up, y'all? Today is April 2nd. All the March Madness is over. But there's one more game. And that's the championship game. And it is Michigan versus Villanova. And my boy Rich, he big Michigan fan. So he actually went down to L.A., uh, drove down to LA for the for the Final Four game, and so tonight we gonna see a little bit of his reaction to the outcome of the game. Hopefully, it's a good one. Hopefully, they win. I am going for Michigan, and yeah, man. So we gonna have some fun. Uh, we're gonna be at Santizzi's. So that's where I'm headed to right now. We're going to go to Santeezy's. Uh, it's off of, uh, what is it? I think the 17 in Bow Road. Yeah. Pretty good. But it's actually a really, really nice restaurant. TV, like on all the walls, pool tables, darts. It's, it's a really legit uh, sports bar, man. Check it out, man. Check us out. Let's go, man. Go, Michigan. Go, Blue. And it's kind of funny because he doesn't. I don't think he really wants me to go watch the game with him because during the game seven of the Dodgers and Houston game, you know, I guess I was bad luck for that game. So he doesn't want me to be around anymore. But I told him that's different because the Dodgers suck. We knew they weren't going to win that game. But Michigan is actually a really good team, so they're going to win this game, man. And it's going to be awesome, man. I don't, I'm don't. i not even sure how many times they've won the championship or if they've never won or what. If Rich has seen any in his lifetime, I'm not sure. But I think it's pretty cool to have your college team in the championship game, and I wish I wish ASU was there, but they fell apart after their tenth win. I blame U of A, them Wildcats. But after we lost to them, we kind of went down here. But anyways, shout out to Michigan, man. So anyways, I'm gonna go watch the game with Rich, and we gonna prove that I'm not bad luck. That his team could actually win. When I watch the game with him, man, let's go. All right, I'm here, guys, at Santeezy's. I'm late, real late. It's like 15 minutes. Uh, 15 minutes late, they've been playing for, I think. I don't know. We'll see how it's like. Anyways, Rich is inside. I'm walking up right now. Michigan's winning, and I really have to use the restroom, so. So, just use the restroom. I don't know what the score is. Uh, oh, so Michigan is up. That's good news. All right, Michigan. Michigan's up 21-16. Rich, what's your score prediction? You know, I, honestly, I don't care. As long as we got more points than them, that's all that matters. But since you put me on trial, I'm going to say... 77 to 74. Alright, we got some bad news. We got Diamondbacks losing by two over here. And we got Michigan losing by four. But good news is Diamondbacks just scored and they about to score again. Damn it. I swear. I swear I'm not bad luck though. I'm, I'm not bad luck. Came outside real quick because Michigan is down by a lot, man. It was pretty sad. Down by like 18 points, and I honestly feel bad, man, because Michigan's a legit team. I know Villanova was legit too, but losing this bad, and then Rich is over here, man, and you know, man, I just feel really bad for him though, because I know how it feels. I know how it feels for your team to be so close. So good, but not win the 
championship, man. I know that feeling, so I feel for Rich right now. I feel a little bad. So let's go back inside, man. Let's see what's up. That's it, man. Villanova just won. Rich right here, man. I feel really bad, though. I really do. Um, I didn't expect Villanova to win by so much, but I mean, you could tell how Michigan was just feeling real frustrated with themselves, and they never came back from the deficit. So, Rich's prediction was a little off. <laughs> it's crazy. Like, Rich making me feel really bad now because he said I'm 0 for 2 in the, in the big games with him, man. That makes me... I didn't come for the, in, like, intention of bringing bad luck so that his team could lose. Come on, man. I was really going for, for Michigan, man. But I, that, that just really sucks that... Michigan lost. <laughs> uh, but I told him. So whenever the 49ers or the Suns or the Diamondbacks have our, you know, our finals or our Super Bowls or, you know, World Series, whatever it may be, Rich, come through, man. Because my teams don't usually lose in the big games, do we? Shit. Uh, I know Diamondbacks have never lost in the World Series. Um, Suns are 0 for 2 in the finals. And the... 49ers only lost one time in the Super Bowl, so five and one. My dream, my one of my dreams is that the San Francisco 49ers, the Phoenix Suns, and the Arizona Diamondbacks win. The championship all in the same year, man. I won the World Series, uh, the finals, and the Super Bowl all in the same year. That would be awesome, man. Let's go. I believe it could happen too because we got Devin Booker, man, with the Phoenix Suns, and we got a bright future with him. And then with Garoppolo, Goodwin, and just that, the 49ers. We going Super Bowl. I know we gonna have a bright future with that core, with that group of guys, and then the Diamondbacks too. Man, they look really good. We have some good players, and so I really do believe that all three of my teams can win the championship all in the same year. And I've been. Knowing that it, it's going to happen one year. I know because I've been thinking about this for years now. And I know it's going to happen. Suns, Diamondbacks, and 49ers all in the same year. That would be a dream come true, man. And that's when I will really know that I control everything. <laughs> Hey, man, y'all have a good night, man. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, comment, all that good stuff, man. Until next time.